Some of you may mean well, but let me correct you. It is belittling to call the anointed top spirit warrior and top martial artist a professor or a preacher. These are despicable things in our society. Knowledge without truth, without an African light temple perspective, or truth rather, is empty. It leads to corruption. It corrupts you thoroughly to the core. It doesn't need to corrupt you absolutely to have you hopelessly corrupted. Converting stone to spirit through heart. In other words, the Statue of Liberty must be changed into a real woman, a living truth and not a stone idol. The woman after years of dwelling in the tree has looked in the mirror and turned herself to stone. The statue and the order. Think about these things. I must kill and forgive. I must kill the snake and forgive the woman with love. However, the ideal woman is more than eye candy, more than a presentation professional. When one considers what it means to be a modern woman, that is, a professional, the emphasis is on looks. Martial artists who are not sabotaged tend to be sharp, snappy dressers as a result of their mind state and not being quote-unquote groomed. Think about this play on words. Pause it if you must. The ideal woman must make the distinction between a martial artist and a presentation-heavy, criminal-class, yuppie villain, which many of our professors and our preachers are. Above all, the reverence must go to the top martial artist or spirit warrior who could not have become it without being an honest, honorable hero with the resulting sabotage which takes away from his presentation inevitably. Think about energy and the reaction to Airy or the greatest embodiment of intelligence and being a spirit warrior. Collectively, the most powerful energy society has are admiration-based energies or at times the energy of collective outrage. Think encore or boo. Unfortunately, most outrage is derived from money-related issues or perceived offenses and not moral outrage. What is truly offensive is defying the natural order which comes from the marshalling of the closest being to God, the most righteous spirit warrior of society. The martial artists of Eri rival the followers of Haru in pre-dynastic and first dynasty Egypt as the archetype of spirit warriors. When one considers the direction of America and feminists using globalism, psychology, and urbanization to absorb more of the population over time, it becomes essential to get women to acknowledge reality and not to accept having a trance-like state or states of mind from fabricated, vampirish evidence. Building society comes first and foremost with human reproductive activities. And they must reproduce with a reality-based philosophy and not some educated idiot's illusion. I can't stress that enough. The timeless nature of humanity is such that the person closest to God and most in tune with nature will always be a male, quote-unquote, martial artist. Anthropomorphism was and is a priceless and sacred element in the civilizing of man. Man has been playing imitation sissy, dress-up, gender-neutral, Hellenist, Greek wannabe civilizers, weird opera fan poet, hypnotized classical music dreamer, and mega-denial wig-wearing illusion-supporting lunatic for thousands of years. Western culture is void of any authentic logos or supernatural or natural order. To be blunt and put it simply for society that is not as sharp as even the least of the followers of Haru, the West needs a black African spirit warrior 
who is trained for generations, really tens of thousands of years in the deadly arts that makes The Rock and Bruce Lee together look like a little girl in her Sunday clothes pretending her Barbie doll is one of King David's mighty men. Do we go to the zoo to see puppets? Would you want to be madly in love with a woman and have a clone replace her? Would you want to celebrate Roseanne as an Egyptian warrior pharaoh? Should we pretend that Trump is the return of Christ? None of these things are as harmful to the individual as denying me my rightful place. Think about why I'm right. How can women not appreciate me and think that the millions of professional modern women are above me? Not only is the heart the seat of intelligence, but a cowardly child who was afraid of his bullies at school could tell you why these women are wrong. So if they see it my way, never forget that humanity is going off of a cliff as the most ignorant group of heartless, mentally weak morons because of what must be the lesser sex does not having the heart to concede my point. When non-spirit warriors give a passionate speech, it is a reaction and a continuity of flimsy philosopher at, philosophers at best. The top martial artist is the essence of the most intense, pure, and effective divine spirit mankind could ever know. This above all is why they drug me. There are no chemicals or technologies to mimic what I have. They cannot beat me in a debate no more than they can triumph sparring. Mental sparring is second to spirit soul sparring in the physical activity of martial arts sparring. To place importance on the pursuit of martial arts, which is the highest form of pursuing spiritual truths, automatically puts you above those who do not. When you use this pursuit to address the evil spirits or societal ills as uncontrolled, automatically you are above all martial artists that do not. This pursuit brings awareness to the mind through the heart. So when I challenge everyone as the most proficient at that, I am and was aware of the importance importance of establishing myself as the top martial artist in a competition that is relevant and fair, which puts me above all the uncontrolled, socially and politically active martial artists that did not. By the time you consider everything else, the world record 10 hits, excuse me, 15 hits, 1.2 to 1.4 seconds with sparring gloves on from Deontay Wilder's boxing range. The targeting, the royal family continuity, the son of the most mentally successful and one of the most charitable black men of his time and everything else. Certainly, I am the top martial artist in America by seven light years, symbolically and figuratively speaking, but certainly by far. If Luke Skywalker had realized his potential and did nothing, would that make him a superior martial artist to what he was in the movie? Where is Bruce Lee's emphasis on Egypt? Was he just unaware? or unaware that honor is key. The bare minimum requirements for the top martial artist is to be aware of the true nature of walking in the light of the spirit war. A divine fervor for walking in said light and willingness to die fighting for honor controlled by no one but rather possessed with this light and the importance of sun masculinity and marshalling society in the top martial artist war spirit as the best mind, body, soul, as expressed through light contact sparring. These are bare minimum requirements. No one has ever accomplished what I have, and no one ever will. You could add up all the attractive women in history, with all the intellectual non-martial artists, certainly after I have broken it down in this video in a way that your children could understand, you must concede that together they are beneath me. Like Solomon's temple, the people picked up the pieces and prayed to the pieces, but you need the temple to pray to God. Jesus showed us that the temple is the closest man to God, a living gateway, a doormat, Nimrod backwards, so to speak, 
as the true temple. Scientifically, that is the most logical explanation and compelling argument, so it is non-science and nonsense as well to ignore it. Hundreds of years of stigmatizing blacks and injecting people with racial pride and defining themselves as groups through social norms derives from purposely constructed misconceptions keeps man from accurately defining God and his order. A drunk, redneck, missing teeth, for example, ranting about how a welfare crackhead jungle bunny could not possibly be the missing link to God and that they came here as slaves is who people would agree with and not the top martial artists. So ask yourself, liberal professional with no viable counter argument type of woman, do you agree with that motherfucker and his elite mind controller or the top martial artist? Think about the ugly duckling effect. Well, what is the ugliest race? Who are called mud ducklings? The wordplay is always there. Manifest destiny, the cargo, the manifest. They fail to even include the top martial artist bloodline in their cargo. Manifesting the destiny of those who are trying to democratize the Pharaoh's power. Con, illusion of civility, morality, and leadership. This alchemical mixture with savage, carnal criminality cultivated for 5,000 plus years. We need pure Haru leadership. Who is who? You know them by their motives and the abuse that they take before they surrender, especially those such as myself who never surrender. Transformation of true worship of God to empire and race-based worship and the twists therein destroyed the worship of God and martial artists. Decepticon, do, sept, captere, except from sept, capere, to take, do, capere, do take a con. The pyramid is the three steps. Africa is, Africa is the mind of man, where man had the mental capacity to rise up. The body that was cultivated in the martial arts spirit, the greatest embodiment, the archetype is Biafra, Biafra, the heart of Africa, the body. The soul is Eri, the priesthood, Jacob Eri, Jacob's latter. Ikenga represents a leopard's cub as opposed to a golden calf. The warrior Pharaoh, the anointed one, the top spirit warrior, the priestess of On. Where was the outrage in the Bible when Joseph married the priestess of On? When On is in Heliopolis and the cat of Heliopolis is Ra. Ra is the god of Heliopolis because God is Ra. Everything else is idolatrous nonsense except for Haru, which is the regeneration of the priesthood, the martial art or spirit warrior priesthood of Ra with the punt or panther or kick beard, with the bunny tail for agility, with the hawk, with the leopard, martial arts animals. Fair in archaic terms is free of obstacles. Man must remove these obstacles, not present me with them. German selfishness and not efficiency is destroying society because the most effective order for people, including Germans, is to progress in the natural order. Think of Hellenistic, a person who lived in Hellenistic times, who was Greek in language and outlook, but not in ancestry. Greek societies. We live in a Hellenistic kind of Nordic society. Hellenism, of course, Babylon and so on. Hellenism, Greekism. Devotion to or imitation of ancient Greek thought, customs, or styles. Greeks twisted Egyptian style, right? Greco-Egyptian, Greco-Lower Egyptian. Greek civilization, especially in the Hellenistic period, as modified by Oriental influences. In comes Babylon. Palmyris or Babylon influencing the Roman Empire from this direction, right? From the right, the Hellenistic or Oriental influences, the Hellenistic period, influencing it from the left. The Nordic from the top, the uh, Lower Egyptian from the bottom. The Antichrist cross. A body of humanistic and classical ideals associated with ancient Greece and including reason, the pursuit of knowledge, and the arts, moderation, civic responsibility, and bodily development. 
Greek society's masonry, Pythagoreanism, Greco 